North Carolina's governor vetoes private school vouchers and immigration enforcement orders. Associa, Ted Press. North Carolina Gov. Roy Cooper vetoed legislation Friday that allocates several hundred million dollars to an expanded P. Rivate school voucher program and orders sheriffs to cooperate with federal immigrant agents looking for people in the country illegally who have been brought into county jails. Cooper's veto was anticipated. The Democratic governor is a longtime critic of spending taxpayer dollars to help families send the RK-12 children to private and religious schools. Cooper had already. Below are your comments. The mic is the financial black hole that taxpayer-funded private schools will become with no savings. Only continually rising costs to satisfy the CEOs running private education. I consider paying taxes to public schools is something we should all do even though I'm childless MYS. Elf. I'm on a fixed income and why should I fund the children of the wealthy who don't need my help? Dot. The bill in part funds grants for this fall for children from families at all income levels who qual. I fi they love to say this. They forget to mention that the grants don't cover all of the funding needed for any private schools. So only well-off families can actually use these vouchers. This is basically a tax giveaway to the rich. Thomas Jefferson advocated for free public schools in 1800. The purpose of public schools, he argued, was to educate the succeeding American generations broadly in all areas of learning so that they would be fitted to be strong constructive citizens of a free and democratic republic. He was right then and he is still right. If people want to send their kid s to a private or charter school, they should pay for it themselves. My sister and I attended parochial schools growing up and mom took care of the cost because she work. Ed. We went to private high schools and I worked every summer to help pay for my tuition. Same in college, two degrees and work the whole time. They should not be allowed to shuffle off with taxpayer money for their special little ones. What they should do is put the lottery money back into the school like as was designed. After all it is called the North Carolina Education Lottery and it was promised to the schools when they sold it to us. Immediately after it was voted and they moved the money to the general treasure and left the school's W. Anting. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.